Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, September 28th, 2016, and we're honored to have with us in the studio Maurice Mo Better Brown and Sold You Out.
watching Audio Tree Live, and we're in the studio with Maurice Mo Better Brown. What is up? Welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, man. of course. Watching you play, belt out that solo, and somehow still command the band is one of the most badass like band leader things I think I've ever seen. That is that's impressive. Thanks. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that comes from years of doing stuff with Tedeschi Trucks, right? Like, did you do active, um, you know, band direction on stage with, yeah, with that well, project? I mean, I was the horn arranger for that. Right, and right. I hooked up a lot of that stuff. Um, five years with Tedeschi Trucks was great. Um, before that, I was playing a lot with uh, Lettuce. Yeah. You know, hitting with Soul Live with Eric Krasno. And so I'm doing a lot of stuff on the jam band circuit. And Robert Randolph and, you know, a lot of great people. It's been really cool just uh, working that whole scene and getting yeah. to know everybody, yeah. Right. Um, can we talk a little bit about Pisano's uh, pizza? That's is that your <laughs> jam? Like that's the one you vote for, so yeah. you make them all come to well, it. Well, I'm the one. I'm the one from Chicago. Yeah. So. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. Got it. <laughs> yeah. So there's kind of like a, a tradition to go to Pisano's every time we come to town. The right. Best pizza there. Do they agree? Do you guys agree with him? You don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Quiet. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's quiet. Yeah, they don't want to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He says that's good. That's great. Um, can we talk a little bit about the amount of um, improv that's happening? I'm just curious, like where the limits are, where you need the riff to sound like it was on the record, versus like, hey man, you can just rip on keys for this period of time. Like, how do you think about that? What percent of the songs are improv versus you know same as the recorded version? Yeah. Well. The songs are, you know, are the songs. So that's the layout of yeah. the song. But the imp there's improvisation in every song. Like okay, we're yeah. bringing a piece of ourselves to every song that that we do, and it's different every night. Yeah. So once we get to express ourselves, you know, in the solos, it's like it's all improv. So right. you never know what's gonna come out. Cool. So then, when you're playing, like, uh, you're playing three shows at uh, at Andy's, right? Andy's Jazz Club, or, or a few shows, I guess. You're doing two sets, so then, like, that way you can play a set, and it has tons of variants. People can see you twice in a row, and it's exactly, going to be a different yeah. show, right? Totally. It blows my mind every show, so I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, <laughs> it's the same song. <laughs> right, right. Very cool. Okay, uh, thanks again, guys, for coming in. Why don't you roll into your next track when you're ready? Stop rock and roll, everybody lose control. Hey, think I did, I did it since I four years old. The air land in the seat to get into your soul. And I'm like a space rocket just waiting to explode. Yeah, we 
don't stand for something Never fall for nothing That's all we want Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Mo Better Brown and Sold You Out. Could we talk a second about breath control? I guess this is for everyone in the plays and instrument, but especially you two, because sort of bouncing from singing and then into like playing an instrument. Do, do you do any like exercises or, or you know, a strict warm up method or anything to get it to the point where you can do both those things back to back? Well, um, I run. You know, so I try to try to run like three miles a day if oh, I can. Oh, okay, cool. That's kind of helps a lot, you know. And um, been getting more into stretching and trying to get more into yoga. That's definitely having an effect on it. The deeper I get into that, right, so, right, right. I know uh, Chelsea was doing some uh, Bikram yoga, I believe, right? Hot yoga. I used to do Bikram, but I mean, I think it's just like definitely cardio is a huge part of it, okay, and sure. uh, staying in shape, but. Just staying relaxed in general, um, especially switching between playing a horn and all that. But I definitely learned a lot of like breathing secrets from Maurice. Okay. So he's definitely got some trade secrets. Yeah. Do you have? Are you? Do you care to share any? Or that? I mean, if they're secret, <laughs> if they're secret, secret. That's no, it's fine. not really secrets, man. I just I have a pretty good breath control. That's okay. all, You know. Yeah. So I don't know. Okay, cool. My, my lungs expand pretty wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's, I mean, that's the idea, like, with yoga too, right, is both relaxation and trying to, like, expand your chest as far as it can go or whatever, extend your muscles as far as they can go. Mm -hmm. um, would you talk to me a little bit about this idea of, like, there's Maurice and then there's Mo Betta and those personalities cl clashing a little bit because you sort of treat them like they're separate, I guess, in your head. Would you expand on that well, a little bit? Yeah, I guess it's because... Uh, I'm I'm mostly known by Maurice Brown as the sure. jazz trumpeter, you know, and you know, playing with a bunch of uh, jazz heroes that are some of them, a lot of them are passing away. You know, every year uh, they're they're leaving us, you know. And I was one of the guys who was fortunate enough to to get with them, and they took me around and took me under their wing and passed the torch. So. Any music that I do is going to have that essence of jazz, even if sure. it's not traditional straight ahead jazz. Sure. So that's why um, people who like straight ahead jazz or traditional jazz still like the music that I right. do because they can hear the foundation of the music in it. 
But uh, playing with all those different genres, like I was telling you, and also being a producer, yeah, I, I produce a lot of hip hop and you know R and B and you know songs for like Talib Kweli. He's actually featured on that song we just did right yeah. there, you know, on the single version for the new record. You know, the record's called The Mood, and um, I just like want to put all these genres together, all these influences, and just make them as seamless as possible, you know. And, I guess that's a big key of uh, the people you play in your band because they have yeah. to like all that kind of music too. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, or at least deal with all of that music yeah, yeah. too. But yeah, I think they have like to like it. it. They yeah, have to okay. like really dig it. You know, right? For you to believe it, you know, so for it to be believable, you have to like live it. It's, you can't just be like, oh yeah, I do a little bit of this, a little that. You have to like yeah. be an expert at that that genre, at that style. You know. Right, right. Yeah, and I feel like you guys do such a good job of both balance and like breath like where you know it's it's his turn to play so everyone is able to set back and like let that guitar solo go or like sax solo or you know trumpet or whatever like even drums being featured not just as the foundation but also every once in a while is allowing you more flourishes and stuff like that that probably comes from your like producing and composing background too right building these songs with enough room where they can perform yeah for their personalities to come out you know that's i think that's part of the reason why you know you can get such great musicians to Help pull off your vision because they can. Uh, they see that they're a part of something bigger at that moment, you know. And everybody's like minded. And then when it's their time to step up, the stage is all theirs, you know. And then everyone's supporting them, so it's just a a good feeling, you know. Yeah, right on, man. Awesome. Uh, go into your next one when you're ready. All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. How y'all feeling, band? Yeah. School, school out, school, school out. Woo!
and trying to act sane You know that I got a group that'll make you scream and shout And it just might turn you out so loud Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Maurice Mo Better Brown. Okay, uh, we definitely have time for two more, but you tell me. Do you want to do one more or two more? How you feeling, guys? Yeah, how you guys feel? Two? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, okay. let's do it. Cool. Well, in that case, then just roll into the next one when you're ready. What? 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 What?
to the mold, tight with the flow. People know that I got horns that's ready to blow. Like hammers and bows, people knocking down your nose and he's tripping down your clothes, down to the bones. I've been grown, been left home. Had an itchy finger since I first touched ground. Cat stepped up, man, know I gotta show him. Shot it to the body and the nose, get the norm blown. <laughs> yeah, I'm so outrageous, but the flow's so ill. I'm so contagious. Uh, you can catch rock in different stages. It's like I like that bitch, cause I make this. A piece of real, deal or no deal. But what's the point? This just seems so surreal. And everything I do, I keep it real. I gotta let you know how the fuck I feel, it's real. Yes. Don't you ever doubt it. So what you gonna do about it? Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Mo Better Brown and Sold You Out. All right, before we go into the last one, I would just like to hear a little bit about your love for Indonesia. When did you first, like, when did you first go there? Oh, man, we first went to Indonesia about seven years ago. Okay. <laughs> at Java Jazz Fest. With, yeah, uh, yeah, I was looking that up, yeah. Yeah, and that's, um, that was amazing in Jakarta. People of Jakarta is amazing. The food is amazing. The Balinese people, the culture, everything about it. 
just always have a great time. There's seven years in a row. This is the first year we didn't go back this year. Okay. So the wind up doing some stuff in the Key West this year around the same time. That's in March. Okay. It's got busy, but uh, hopefully we'll be back next year back on track. Yeah. And kick it there. Then after the festival's over, we go to Bali and just hang out in Bali. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it about it? You said like like the food, the culture, like you just feel like, I don't know, that you belong there, that you fit know, in there? man. It's, it sucks me in. Like it's something about it that when I get there, like I'm like, oh yeah. It's kind of like New Orleans when I first got to New Orleans. You get there and you're like, oh, I could do this. Yeah, like, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this, yeah. this is nice. I could do this that for a while. That weather hits you, you get that water on you, and you're just like, man, you eat the food, you're like, okay, I'm sold. <laughs> do you think you could live there? Like, would you ever live there? I could. It's just so off the grid. Yeah, you that's know, the thing. It's other side of the world. That's the yeah. only issue. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty reasonable, too, to live over there, too. So it's Okay, like, like price-wise or yeah, cost of living Yeah, you can live wise. like a king, you know, for, for not a lot of money. So yeah. I'm like, man, you know, I would love to do it, but... But I'm pretty happy in New York right now. So New York's okay. uh, really popping right now. Cool. It's a good time to be be there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you think that Indonesia, or like your love for that, I don't know, piece of the world, I guess, does that find its way into your music at all? Oh, most definitely. Like, uh, my music is like uh, influenced from all my travels. Sure. From abroad and all over, you know. Uh, it's... That's why it's so hard for me to tell when people say, what kind of music do you do? You yeah. know, I can't just say, I do hip-hop, jazz, I do this. It's like it's so much more. That's why the band's called Sold You Out. We put all the genres together and just like mix them and melt them as seamless as possible. Yeah. yeah. Any other, uh, any personal interests that maybe don't seem to like fit in? I, I feel like there's there's a metal thing that I'm noticing, definitely, like some some inspiration. Are you guys like metal heads or into, into heavy music as well at all? Yeah. We yeah. just like to get loud sometimes. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> that is a perfect, that is a perfect answer. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, all right, so you can get a uh, new record. Do you, do you want to talk on that or leave that yeah, a little Yeah, I mean, key? the new record is going to come out next year. So okay, at the cool. top of next year, so the record's called The Mood, and uh, the other record's called Hornification. So we played some joints from both, two songs from both songs, albums right now. Two songs from both albums we just did. And um, I think we're going to close with uh, a really, really fun one that we don't get a chance to do often (laughs) called Fire. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. One of the good things about having your own band is you can communicate in your own language. Scrubber hole, scrubber hole, scrubber hey! Living us from a ride, fire, fire, yeah, I'm a 
get more better than the rest Put into the test, give me who the bless, I'll show you who the best I was just lost, but now I'm found Just take a fucking look around, listen to the sound Man, it's going down, this type of shit that should have break the ground Misunderstood, man, I wish they would Try to better me, people wish they could Instead of hitting, man, they really should stay up on their ground Get about the hood, I'm a fucking beast When I hit the stage, they never should let me on my cage Did the crowd start cooking all the mix of you Try to front at the other phase That's okay, I know we on the same page Fuck, that one is my eyes, stay great I'm so hey, steady, get chicks, cut them with the lasers I'm getting in a different way, all the worst stuff Now it's time to raise, now it's time to raise All the worst stuff, now it's time to raise Fire, fire, this shit here, fire Tell me who you know, fire, living us from a ride Watching Audio Tree Live, we've been in the studio with Maurice, Mo Better Brown, and Sold You Out. Thank you guys so much for performing for us. Um, you can check them out at Andy's Jazz Club tomorrow through October 1st. They're playing a couple nights, and you can see a couple sets, um, as well as look to the top of the year for new records and Brick Jazz Fest in New York, right? Oh, at yeah, the end of the up. month. So um, check them out there, too. Blue Note on the 29th. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, yes. Thank you guys so much for performing. Thank you to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for hooking it up, and viewers. Thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session or streaming it when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send us a shout via social media um, to Audio Tree or to the band from all of us here at Audio Tree Studios. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Hell yeah.